hello hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys we are going to do this uh, ethiopian lines okay so i'll be parting the hair first the style will be going backwards yeah they're just four lines yeah so um, I'll be parting the hair first and after parting it then I'll show you how to do it yeah so let's start parting from the center here and then after that I have to part again that way so this one here is the one that I'll make it to be one line eh? yeah one at open line so I have to part the hair first I'll be parting just a thinner strand like that and then I have to do the dropouts with it okay so the, the gel I'm using is just a gel or you can use uh, any other gel that can but uh, the line clearly okay yeah and then i have the small strands of braid aside that are already parted for this line that i'm parting right now okay i mean they're already splitted okay So I have to hold this one fast and then we have to start. Okay guys, so I'll be using a small strand of hair. So this is the strand and then I have to part it again into two parts and then I have to make it that way. So I'll be laying my braid under the hair that way or next to the hair then i have to plate i'll be plating until it's firm so that i can start adding the braid so i'll be adding just a thinner strand of braid as i plate onwards you just have to do the way you normally do the Ghana lines as you start. So I have to play it a little bit and then I will have again to add the one that I'll start dropping. So you see it's firm. So, I'll be adding the braid now. I have to use my fingers to hold it. And then I have to drop it immediately. So you pick a strand of braid, you lay it down there. Then you drop it immediately. Pick your braid, lay down the line that way, and then you have to drop it immediately. As for this braid, you don't have to turn it, you just have to turn the, the hair. I mean the ones that you are holding, but the one you are adding, you have to let it remain that way. Okay? The one you are putting under the fingers, you have to let it remain there. And not to mix it with the other one, so that it will remain a dropout line. Okay? So you have to lay the braid down the line that way and then you have to let it be as you play the other one and make straight and pick another strand and add leave it and play it remember this line we are not turning the 
braid we are adding so that we can drop it no you have to lay the braid first that way and then you leave it that way and then you turn the hair that way and then you add again another one you leave the one you added the other side and then you continue plating as you drop yeah so it's simple very very simple even for beginners here so guys i'll be parting the middle line and the middle line i'll be just doing a simple underhand braid so that's how it goes you have to play it until it's firm if you want them to be too flat you can just use the braid you started the line with until the end but if you want it to be a little bit high or i mean up you can add a, a strand of braids so that you can it can come out a little, a little bit high <laughs> i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say so as this one you you see um adding the braid yeah but if you want them to be flat then you can just use uh, the one you fixed for the first time until the end okay good so the line is called underhand braid uh, let's plate it so guys uh the remaining strand of hair here i have to make it clear that way and then i will start by splitting this strand of braid remember to start with a thinner strand of braid so after that you have to lay the braid down the line and then you have to start plating if it's firm then you can add another strand of braid and then you have to plate that way remember not to start dropping immediately because uh, it won't bring out the shape you want or the pattern you want so you have to plate until somewhere or you just have to plate like you're doing a ghana line okay and then here we have to plate just a little bit and then after that i'll be adding another strand of braid but the dropping will be different from the first line so here we go let's add the braid you pick the strand of braid you lay it down and then you turn it two times and then you have to drop the same strand of braid but after turning it okay so pick a strand of braid lay it down there lay it one two make straight and pick there as you drop turn one two drop pick another strand lay it down turn one two straight and drop and drop pick another one turn one two and drop okay guys i hope if you're a new new student here today or you're a new member or, or a visitor or a friend i know you will understand something okay but if you are not getting anything then you can just leave a comment and then i will explain more and more okay so let's continue dropping as we add we turn and drop that way until the end okay guys so when the line is finished 
and then this transfer like that we can let them remain hanging we have to pick the one from the left and the one from the right and we have to join them together as we plait them to come to one line yeah so you just have to plait in a simple way so that the, the line can be in that pattern okay so you pick one from left one from right as you continue onward i mean as you play it onwards pick one left one right one left one right one left one right that way and the pattern will come out so nicely so clearly and so adorable okay guys i know you love this style please when you're making your client make it be neat yeah okay and for those who are learning and then they feel like they can't do anything then just keep on trying to do it do it do it guys because you know the more you do something the more you get to know how to do different way or how to do to do it nicely or how to, how to perfect it so my advice is that just keep on trying to do it and then i know that day that god has planned it will just come and then you'll achieve what you want okay guys so you have to pick one from left and one from right as you play it onwards left right right left right left right left so guys that's how we normally go remember when it's too much at the same place and the other line has no too much then you can pick two of them and not exceedingly two okay so that was today's lesson and for those who wants to know more uh, more about hair you can just leave a comment under the comment section and i will get back to you even if it's not tomorrow i'll get back to you and for now bye bye until next time